you hear stories and they are of legend of how actors get into roles and how they prepare for material. And now I'm hearing these stories that you were drinking heavily on set to get into this character. How much of that is actually true? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm a rational person. I don't just drink like a pirate and walk around set like, oh, where are you? put me where you want me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, I would check with John uh, about the scenes. We would schedule for those days. If there was a scene like the, there's a scene with me in the church, that's the day. You know, there's nothing else. And so you talk to John about what's needed and what he wants, and you shoot it a couple ways before you start. And then he says, you know, go off for five minutes through the woods and get there. Yeah. And what that means is go grab that moonshine, go get drunk, come back, when, you know, and let's shoot the scene this way. Took away a lot of my inhibitions. It just made it easy to actually be in the scene and in the moment and have actual, have at it. And you said so, you're going to do this Lars von Trier movie, which is already getting a lot of attention, right. obviously. Everybody talking about how real you want to go with the sex scenes. How real is it going to be? Well, it's not even what I want to do. I know von Trier. I know the kind of movies he makes, and I know the subject matter I'm dealing with. And what it's dealing with is it's dealing with very specific things having to do with love and sex. Uh, I know that when I watch a pornography and I watch uh, sex that's in a movie, I instantly feel this tangibility. You know, this is very tangible. You can see it. You can't, your mind can't trick you, right? This is very tangible and you see it happening. I think there's something interesting Von Trier is trying to do in the middle ground. And I haven't seen it done a lot. And uh, I don't know what's going to be asked of me, but I'm willing to do whatever's asked of me to get closer to the truth uh -huh. that's on the page. As you go through that research process to get to the truth on the page, do you need a, like a wingman in a situation like this? <laughs> I see where you're going with this, man. It's very no? smart. You're very keen. Yeah. Because I know smart. how hard I you may. prepare for I movies. Yes, I, you know. So I, if you need like, you know, some sure. wingman in a sure. situation like that. Yeah, it's hard. It's, it, yeah, I may. I may. Absolutely. You might. Yeah, I might. It wouldn't be you, though. So calm down. I, I, didn't, I didn't suggest it was right. me. I just said it just in general. So yeah. besides picking up some of these tools of the trade from working with Shia and you've got a movie coming up with Ryan Gosling what else do you pick up from them just being around them at Cannes and you know doing the press round <laughs> no I mean yeah you can learn something from everybody I mean that's how I feel about life I mean you think crazy. it's helpful to be around Shia all the time yeah no I think that I you heard think, it here first kids listen I'm a good guy I, this is what I learned <laughs> this, I didn't know Shia at all before we made this movie you know mm -hmm. I didn't know who he was I mean I knew he the movies he had done but like I didn't have any sort of uh, preconceived notion of him and what I learned from it is that he's an actor and that he's an artist and that even though he's uh, 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 obtained a level of success that not a lot of people get to and he's put in the spotlight because of that at the end of the day what's important to him is the work and acting and like that's really commendable. Oh, so getting back to the idea of what kind of films you're going to do next if they, they come knocking with the Transformers 4 here's a boatload of money you're just not into it just the wrong time to come at me for it. You know, maybe if I'm, I'm 40, you know what I'm saying? I got a kid and my kid wants to be a, 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 a fashion designer and I don't have the bread for it, then let's have a conversation, you know what I'm saying? I'm at the point now where that's just not really important to me. You think, you think your kid's gonna be wanting to become a fashion no, designer? No, gonna be, you know what I'm saying? He's got you as his dad, expensive. so you know, clearly. Ben, how's he, gonna, how's he gonna be a fashion designer if his dad doesn't wear socks? I hate when you lambasted me like this. I thought we were pals. Here's what I meant to say, okay? What I meant to say was, it, you know, you never know in life. Like, I, don't, I didn't know that I'd be here, right, five years ago. I didn't know I'd be in a movie with Gary Oldman, and I wouldn't have bet on it, but it happened, you know? Uh, and so I just think it's kind of base thinking to be like, I'm never going to do this, or I'm always going to do that. Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24-7 updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. And if you <laughs> want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>